Uh, I just came out here for a ride over to Beckrinks tonight. They just mowed all their fields and took all the hay off. Caden's up here mowing by the cabin and there's a woodchuck out at this knoll hole. That's what we call it at least. There's a knoll and there's a hole and there's a woodchuck. So the knoll hole. But I got the OT6 and we're gonna set up and take a shot at it. We're only 180 yards away from it right here where we're at. It's just chilling there so I'm gonna get the gun set up and the camera set up and we're gonna launch one. Well, I just let one rip. I'm not sure if I got it or not because of the recoil, but uh, we're gonna go check it out and see. This gun has been shooting awesome since Shane put that new muzzle brake on it. Doesn't recoil ne nearly as bad. It still jumps a little, but nothing like it used to. Let's go see if we got that chuck. Okay, we made it over here to the null hole. We better kick these things in the four wheel drive here. Just like that. Now we're cooking. Let's see what we got here. This grass is actually pretty tall in here, but I could see that woodchuck pretty easily, really. He was right in here somewhere. Well. This is where he was. And it looks like I missed. See where the round hit, right there. I assume he was sitting right here, so I shot what appears to be right to the right of him. So, that sucks. The Noel Chuck lives to see another day and I owe 10 push-ups. Might as well get them knocked out right now. Okay, 10 push-ups knocked out. Let's see uh, if we can go find another chuck. A lot of you guys have asked uh, earlier on when I was doing a lot of chucking why I'm not taking the 300 or the 6.5. And the reason being is because I can't, there's a huge wood chuck that just stood up right out in the middle of the field. Look at that darn thing. We can't shoot it right here, obviously, because we'll send one right through Keith's living room. But what we'll do is we'll get in the gator and go back out around and shoot at it back this way. But I was gonna answer uh, your guys' question. I'm not shooting my 6.5 or my 300 because I can't get any components for it. The powder is nearly impossible to get a hold of. The rounds are nearly impossible to get a hold of, so I don't want to shoot them. I don't want to run out. And I have a whole bunch of old 30 out 6 ammo. Uh, I have no idea even like some of it, what the grain is or how much powder's in it. They're just old 30 out 6 rounds that were laying around and I got a whole bunch of them. So that's why I've been shooting out 6 rounds at these woodchucks. Sometimes I hit low, sometimes I hit high. Sometimes it, excuse me, I hit to the right, sometimes I hit to the left, you know. I just want to shoot these out 6 rounds while I have them. This woodchuck is really annoying. We're gonna go out around and see if we can't get a shot at this thing coming back this way. Okay, now we've made a move on it. We got a good background to shoot at it. I think it's right in there somewhere. Okay, I see where he's at now. He was actually over to the right where I thought he was. I see his head sticking up, so we're gonna go ahead and take a crack at it. Well, hopefully I got that one. I don't want to owe you 10 more push-ups. That shot was only like 130, 140 yards. So, let's go check it out. Well, this is where he was, and we got the sucker. 
good deal. Ooh, big, big one. Big female. Good. I was a little disappointed after missing that other one. That actually looks like there might be a bunch of babies here. You can see your uh, nipples have been getting sucked on. So that might mean we have a pretty target rich area right here with baby woodchucks, possibly. Good deal. I'll have to uh, send a picture over to Brian, show him that I still, I still can kill a woodchuck. It's been a while. <laughs> show you the ammunition we're working with here. These are just a bunch of ancient 30 at six rounds that uh, I think were bought at an auction. Uh, some of them are. Springfields, Remingtons, Winchesters, all kinds of different stuff, but they're doing a number on these trucks. Let's see if we can find another one. Well, I think we got number two on the night. I don't know how well you could see it. I could just see the tip of its head off the corner of the field right there. Let's go see if we got him. It sounded good. Well, this was a really important woodchuck to get killed right here because this was certainly a really high value target. It was right on the edge of my soybean field right here. And I'm sure he was eating these things thinking that, you know, he had the coolest buffet ever. And uh, I shot at this woodchuck the other night from the house, from up there on the edge of the pasture by the house. And uh, I shot just to the right of it and missed it. And uh, I didn't miss it this time. We got him killed with the at six. Big fat sucker. Oh, look at that. I think I shot its tail the other night when I shot at it. I'll be darned. That's exactly what happened. The other night when I missed it, I actually shot it in the tail. He was about 400 yards with that shot. And this shot, I only he was only about 100. And we wrecked him. No more soybeans for this guy. Two chucks tonight, I was two for three. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. Uh, thanks for watching everybody. I'll certainly have more coming soon. We need to get uh, more chucks killed and I Enjoy coming out here and whacking them. If you guys want one of these orange woodchuck KEO hats Just email Kelly Sheldon 10 at gmail.com and we'll get you uh, one sent out. I think they're like 18 bucks but Good deal. See you on the next one